What's up, guys? Big Cambodian holiday. I gotta tell you guys a, a pretty awesome story. Uh, I said it before, say it again. My wife's a good luck charm, and damn near any time she sends me to the store for random household stuff, I find a super, or I find a chase, or I find something. Damn near every time. And uh, for example, I went to the Target one day with the family, so she didn't send me, but we were all together. And I found a ass load of short cards at Target. We've never had short cards at Target. That kind of shit. But the story's even cooler because Marley and I went, my little guy, my two year old, partner in crime, we went this morning to the Walmart I tell you guys about that sucks. But this Walmart is starting to really step its game up. There's been one really cool employee that, if you guys remember, first I found the bad mutter there on the pegs on my birthday, which was July 10th. And then a really nice chick that I've never seen there working before that didn't even work toys. You know, they like to pull out the box cutter and open the box for you, and I found the Super Daytona. That was three weeks or a month after... It was the 1st of August, not exactly August 1st, but the first part of the month, and uh, found the Super Daytona. Well, I went in there today, and I think they're stepping their game up and actually hired a professional, like, really cool um, stalker and toy department person. And I walked in, and I uh, didn't expect to find anything. I was just uh, going to look at those M2 Titaniums. Um, my homie uh, Travis uh, Heavy Metal 164 reached out and said he was going to send me one of the Apache trucks because somehow he wound up with three or four of them, which is super cool. And I, I don't buy every set. I buy things I like out of each because you'll wind up with 80 million cars. And you don't have to buy everything. You buy what you want, right? So Travis is awesome. If you don't follow Heavy Metal 164, you should. He's a super cool guy. Super awesome videos. At any rate, I uh, was going to look at those just to see what the six cars were. And uh, there was a shipper. And so it's just sitting up. It's it's not on the end cap yet. So I'm flipping through it. And the new guy that I was talking about walks over and says, uh, I said, is this new as of this morning? And he said, yeah, it is. And after I dug through about half of it with no luck, he said, you're the second person that came through here today. I knew who it was. It was the clown I always tell you guys about that runs in Toys R Us. And he's a vulture. I call him the vulture. The vulture came through because I said, yeah, I gave a description. He was like, yeah, how'd you know? And so I sat there. I just went ahead because you never know. I've seen videos with uh, Alejandro and uh, a lot of other people where there's either a collector standing right there or a collector just left and you walk right behind them and find something. And so I continued to look through there and then I looked two feet away and there was another shipper unopened and the corner of the box was all jacked up. So um, I try to be respectful to these stores that way they'll treat you right. So I said, is it okay if I look through that? So he helped me slide it out, went through got all the way to second to the last row of the shipper and whatever you know if you don't look you don't know and I ran into a, a couple of these and typically I'm not even into drift cars or tuner cars or any of that kind of stuff just something about this one the way it sits real low and like almost like a chop top and uh, I'm a fan of like pink and purple looking, magenta looking cars. And so uh, I said before that even if I didn't find a super, I'd probably grab one of these and uh, do a wheel swap. Lo and behold, it popped in my head, hey, your wife sent you to the store today. Right there. Almost at the end of the shipper. So I went ahead so that I could do uh, 
We'll swap on that one and have the darker version. I'm sure you guys have seen that already. But it brought me to another thought. I didn't have a lot of stuff to show you guys today. So I said, I'm going to show them cars of that color. The different color spectrum. from pink to purple because in reality unless it was some sort of Mopar that came purple or Panther pink I probably wouldn't want to own a car that's purple or pink but in Hot Wheels it's pretty sick for example PJ everybody knows PJ um, PJ had given me this Come on. Now you were doing fine a minute ago. What the hell's going on there? PJ gave me that one. Pretty sick. Got the, the opening hood. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but I love it. Um, like I say, PJ gave it to me. Me and PJ had a thing going for a while where we would uh, try to figure out what each other gigs and whatnot. And then a local homie um, gave me this ship kicker, which is pretty awesome. It's a magenta-ish color. And then, of course, dun, dun, dun. I don't like to keep rubbing this shit in y'all's guys' faces, but if you watch my videos, fuck it, you're going to see it because I love this car. And then... This one's so sick. I found this at that flea market dirt mall I keep talking about. Mint on the card. Beautiful, beautiful car. Spoilers, I reckon. Old Super B. Super nice. And of course, recently, um, you guys know I acquired this Camaro. And then, if you don't collect the bottom rung M2s, I mean, they're actually decent, man. Um, a lot of people don't want the ones without the opening doors and uh, hood and whatnot but this Hemi Coot is like one of my here on it this Hemi Coot is like one of my favorites and it was a a non there we go yeah it was a hair on it or something probably a beard hair but yeah, this Hemi kit is like one of my favorites. I mean, it's got that cool Hemi on the hood there. And then this uh, Panther Pink version. Now, a lot of people don't know like 1 1 stuff, but uh, you could, could get a lot of uh, weird colors back in the day. Um, factory options for example you could get the if you're like the mod colors you could get sublime green panther pink plum crazy purple um you could get plaid interior and vinyl tops you could get paisley on a hemi cuda or something or a roadrunner you can get a, a paisley vinyl top and paisley interior which is super weird but if you have one of those cars now since it was the the less sought after, you know, thing back then is super rare now. Oh, I forgot a purple car too. Fortunately, um, I have the super of this and several of just this main line because I just love my 60s and 70s race cars, whether it be dirt or asphalt. And this thing's wonderful. It's got the single seat, a little bit of a roll cage in it, all the sheet metal like a real one. And I can't get enough of that car. The only one I think I don't have is the golf uh, colored one. I think I've got all the rest so far. But, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys, uh, tell you the little story about the, the Vulture. And uh, it just goes to show that you could go with somebody right there or go right behind them, pull a super or a chase. Um, I try to be thorough when I look to the point of my wife's with me. Sometimes she gets in my ass about it, but I find some cool stuff. And also, I mentioned Heavy Metal 164. Um, 
Also, uh, if you guys watch Snake's Diecast, he's pretty cool. He shows some pretty rad shit. And uh, Mondo Fuentes98 on Instagram. He's Mondo Jr. on here. Solid cat. Super nice. Um, if you don't follow him, hit him up. I'm going to have a surprise coming from him. And I'm going to make a video. And it's so deluxe. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to draw the tattoo i got to do. So, peace. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think.